This episode, documenting the renovation of our little stone house in northern Portugal, is one where we fail. We did not get the stone house bathroom ready in time for the arrival of John's mum, which is in two days' time. Our first guest arrives without a place to yeah. stay. We'll love a pastel de matter at you every couple of days. We get an important visit from the local authorities that could change the course of our future. Oh my gosh, folks. Please hold all your fingers crossed that everything's going to be okay. And we receive results from the doctors that have us looking for solutions and taking some time away from it. So that I should be a bit emotional talking about it. Let's dive in and catch you up on the latest. And if you're new, then please subscribe and join us because we have got a heck of a lot to cover. So, despite the banging and crashing you can hear going on behind me, we failed. We did not get the Stonehouse bathroom ready in time for the arrival of John's mum, which is in two days time. So we're coming up with alternative solutions as promised. I'm here at the Knot Garage, one of my favorite places to rummage around in, because I've got an idea to make something of a makeshift bathroom for her in the tiny house, because that's where she's gonna need to sleep. We also actually have my cousin here and her husband. So they're being shifted into the stone house because they have been in the tiny house without a bathroom. Um, and they're gonna go into the stone house and just climb over scaffolding and things because they're young and agile. And John's mum, we're going to make a beautiful little bedroom for in the tiny house. I have got a composting toilet on its way, which we're gonna get into place. And one of the things that we inherited when we arrived on the farm was a very cool old wash stand, which needs a little bit of TLC, but I think it might work quite well. So I'm just gonna dig it out from the mess that is the knot garage and see if we can fashion something into Something of a slightly better guest room and guest experience for John's mum until we have the bathroom ready, which will hopefully be before she leaves. But I don't know. Let's see. I absolutely love this washstand and I think it's going to look really sweet. And I've been meaning to, as I said, meaning to do this for a really long time. We found so many cool things in the knot garage and um, like beautiful old olive oil bottles and milk churns and the wine barrels and this was one of them and I've always had my eye on it for something so it feels good to be finally kind of using it and it may not actually even need a paint this time round but let's see how we go. Somebody from the municipality is here. I'll just come round. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm a bundle of nerves. <laughs> We've just had a car pull in with um, our municipality marked on the side of the car. It could very well be the municipality coming to have a look at the property because they've received our application to build the house. Fingers crossed. I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to film, but we've been waiting for these guys for weeks. Um, and there was some confusion with the payment we were supposed to make, which never went through for some reason. Um, anyway, it looks like they might be here. Oh my gosh, folks. Please hold all your fingers crossed that everything's going to be okay. Hope for the best and be super, super friendly. Here we go, darling. This is a very exciting very, moment. Very exciting. We've already had the conversation. <laughs> anyway, these gentlemen are very kindly coming to visit us from the inspection department at our local municipality. Um, and they will now go back with their report to the municipality and to the architect to then hopefully get our paperwork so that we can start the build. Very exciting. So it's the next, the next rung of the ladder. Yeah. The next hoop that we've jumped through. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, and I don't think we're, I, I think we're good. So I think, good. yeah, I think it, it's sounding positive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Very good. All good. Obrigado. Muito bom. Obrigado. Yeah. Obrigado. So what basically just happened is very exciting. The, the, the guys from the municipality, and you know when you're a little bit nervous and you're like, mm, gosh, We've been waiting for this visit to really, for weeks. It's been yeah. like any minute now, someone's going to arrive and tell us whether like the future, the fate of our futures. I almost forgot to introduce you. Yeah, you they didn't even ask for me. Like, please can we have our permission. <laughs> please can we have it? And he's just like, 
I'm just from the inspection department. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So he's come out to have a look and see what's going on here um, and make sure that it just ticks the boxes. Yeah. Anyway, I think Let's I see. think within a week we probably get the, the... You think? Yeah, I think we've got the permission in it within a week. Gosh. Should we go and find a second-hand stone house now and start lobbing the bricks together? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah. Right, I've got a washstand to paint, otherwise your mum's going to know which wash is safe. Is it? Mm -hmm. I had every intention of filming for you this morning, everybody, but it has been one of those days where you think you've got everything organized, but you actually don't. It's the big day. My mother-in-law is arriving and we have had to put her up in the tiny house. But I must say, I am feeling quite proud of how pretty this little room is looking. I think she's gonna be really happy in here and we've done our best. And then I've managed to set up the little washstand and I think it looks really sweet. I've put some jugs of water there for her there's some soap and toilet paper and some towels and if she wants to wash her face and things in the morning she'll at least be able to do that but i'll show you later on in the episode because i think it's either going to arrive today or on monday we have got the most amazing composting toilet coming and that will have a permanent home here in the little tiny house we will await eagerly granny's arrival to see if she approves of the slightly makeshift space we've created for her She's arrived. She's arrived. Hello, Granny. Hello, love. <laughs> we yeah. promise not to throw you through a deck chair this time. Yeah, and we also promise that we aren't going to be putting you in a dust filled building site. So you've got the tiny house to yourself. Well, it's beautiful. I yeah. love it. Yeah. But um, I haven't explained to you your, your camping setup, so let me show you quickly. A camping yeah. Grass, yeah, slightly camping. So over here in this corner is your bathroom. I tell you what, when you said there was no toilet here, yeah. I thought you were going to then go on to tell me that you'd you'd bought a gazunda. A gazunda, okay, yeah. What's a gazunda? <laughs> What's like a, a bucket. Gazunda? Okay. No, a gazunda, it, it's uh, like a potty. Okay. The gazunda. Oh, oh, gazunda, ah! <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Granny, are you getting back to the airport or are you happy to stay? <laughs> um, yeah, I shall probably stay. Good. <laughs> Jolly good. I think we did all right, love. High winner, five. Winner, winner. So, um, whilst Granny is here, work will continue in earnest yeah. on the stone house and on the extension. We have got plastering going on this weekend. That's going to make a huge difference. We've got the bathroom to fit, which should have been fitted by yesterday it's not even really started <laughs> nope um it's so typical isn't it the next deadline you've got is my parents in 10 days, ten days. it is a very small double it it's, a, it's a three-quarter bed it's maybe. a three-quarter bed so yeah we we're definitely going to need to be able to find an alternate solution for yeah them. this is the tiny house is not a solution for it isn't dad, no, no. The sponsor of today's episode does something that I personally had never ever heard of before, but I think it's pretty amazing. So a huge thank you to Incogni for sponsoring this episode. Protecting your personal data and your personal information is something that's becoming more and more important. And what I didn't realize is that there are companies out there, data brokers, whose entire business model is built around getting hold of your data, selling it on to other people who want to use it for nefarious activities or to have it on their databases to be able to sell you stuff that maybe you weren't even interested in knowing about, let alone buying. One of the ways that I've experienced this for myself is those really incessant and very annoying robocalls and I always wondered how they'd got hold of my number. 
this is exactly how it happens. Now, if you were to try and find all the different places where your data might have gotten to once a data broker had gotten hold of it, it would take you days, maybe even weeks. And personally, I wouldn't even know where to start. Incogni is an incredibly clever piece of software that basically scours all of the data broker websites looking for where your data has appeared in a breach. And it automatically requests that your data is removed from their databases and is deleted from their records. To employ something like Incogni is a really, really great idea and it just simplifies the whole process. I've been so impressed. The sign up was super easy and I've had a few emails come through telling me that they have found my data appearing on data broker websites and it's been removed by Incogni and I don't need to worry about it. So if you would like to sign up for Incogni and take care of your own data protection, please use the link in our description below and our code the newbies and you'll get a whopping 60% off their annual plan. Big day, darling. Big day. I haven't even washed my face. Is it? No. Pulled you... straight out of bed, straight to it, wrestling plasterboard. Sounds like my every morning. Don't make your problems mine. <laughs> okay, I won't. All right, so what's the plan? I know the plan, but they don't know the plan. So the plan is, uh -huh. we've emptied everything. Yep. Carlos is here with, I think, four other blokes, and they are going to smash out the plastering this morning. The plan in here is to plaster the bedroom, the stairwell and the extension. Okay, well, what are you most ex excited about seeing plastered? The stairwell. Yeah, me too. I want to hang the light. Tonight, we're going to hang that light. Hang that light. Yeah. yeah. That will be a mark of the success of the day, isn't it? I hope so. Yeah. So, yeah. Another mark of the success will be Carlos going, well, well done, John. You've done a great job with that plasterboarding. Good work. It all <laughs> looks like it's gone up nice and nice and easily. Um, we haven't done that corner over there, unfortunately, because we were hoping the electrician would come in his evenings during the last week, but he didn't come. So um, I've had to leave at least one board open, which means that entire wall there hasn't been plasterboarded because, well, we need the electrician. We want to make it all safe and, and sound here. Um, why are some of the boards green and some of them grey? Well. I had bought green boards for the bathroom because I was thinking we're going to plasterboard the bathroom out, but actually Carlos just went and rendered straight onto the walls, didn't need any plasterboard for that. Um, and the green plasterboard is um, water resistant. Yeah. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of people in today helping us with the plastering. Um, it's an exciting day. We're very hopeful that um, the day will go. If we know anything about Carlos and his guys, um, we know that it's going to be busy. Super speedy. Um, the other thing I realised last night, I didn't sleep very well, so I was awake thinking of all sorts of things. You look fine. And mm, thank you. Mm. One of the things I realised is that the tiles for the bathroom floor didn't arrive yesterday and they were supposed to be delivered yesterday. Um, okay, all right. That'll oh, be a Monday, Monday job today. probably. It's Saturday today. Anyway, I'll go and see if I can track them down. Okay, jolly good. All right. All right. Ooh, exciting times. Where are eyes. Yeah. Well, just a moment ago, quite literally, we were saying to Carlos, gosh, we couldn't close up one of the walls because the electrician didn't come with it. We were expecting him to come in the evening. He's just arrived as well. It is quite literally all going on today. Um, and me personally, for once, I've literally got nothing to do today except for stay out of the way of the professionals who are going to be transforming the inside of this house significantly. We're going to have electric lights. We're going to have safe plugs we're going to have all sorts of brilliant stuff now by the end of the day and we've also got joao here today um so basically what we're doing with joao is trimming back all of the tall grass making hay for the chickens out of that tall grass so we'll let it um <clears throat> so we'll let it dry here in lines um just for a week or so and then we'll collect it and we'll store it for the chickens but the reason main reason why we're doing that me personally, I was really happy to leave the grass a little bit longer for a week or two um, more um, just because it was, uh, well, it looked nice. It had lots of flowers in it. It was lovely for the bugs and the bees and the bugs were the big problem. So what was basically happening is Crusoe and Sawyer were going running around inside all of that long grass um, and having fun with Obi, as you would imagine kids do. Crusoe came back for bath time one evening. He had a tick stuck right here. So when that happens, it's like, okay, all right. As much fun as it is for the boys and Obi to be running around in that long grass, it's time to cut it short. We can't have the boys getting ticked. I'm gonna squeeze in a quick bit of Pilates if that's okay. Go for it, darling. Thanks. Yeah. 
Tara's over there with Tinks in the middle of the lawn, exercising. Wait, that button there turns on a whole bunch of sprinklers. What do you think? Would you do it? Would you push that button? I'm not going to. Best not to. It's very serious business, this Pilates thing. Plums are on their way. Another week, we'll have a whole bunch of them. On the note of plums, we've got a second, third, fourth plum tree. So now we've got four plum trees on the property. The last plum tree, we didn't really know we had it. And the reason why is because it's down on the terrace where the bio pool is going to be one day when we've got time to crack on with it. It's down here. I said to Joao, it looks like Joao's been down here already today. Um, yesterday, um, cutting back because literally I came down here yesterday, couldn't get down. It was hectic. Look at that, that's what the rains did, knocked down the wall. Um, so he's already done it, great. Made a path in here um, to the plum tree. <laughs> this is so cool. Have a look at this. It's very wet. Yeah, who's seen a plum tree that colour before? Pretty cool, hey? And look up there, all sorts of very beautiful looking plums. We didn't really know that this was a plum tree because it didn't fruit last year at all. So it must be one of those plum trees that fruits every couple of years but it's absolutely laden. All of our plum trees this year are totally stacked. They're almost falling over. They've got so many plums on them. I'm really excited to get um, get picking, but it's gonna be a couple of weeks. Um, and I know Tara's got a whole bunch of ideas for what to do with it. Just looking over there, look. Can you see through the trees there? It's gonna be such a wonderful place one day to have a outside space next to this bio pool, which well, it's looking a bit sad and overgrown, to be honest. We just haven't had time to make it a focus um, this year. We dug it already over a year ago, um, and we just haven't had any time to come down. But I, I tell you what's going on in there right now. The wildlife are blooming well, loving it. There's about, I don't know, a foot worth of water just floating around down there. It's got all... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if some sort of new species evolved in that primeval primordial um goo pretty exciting stuff we'll let you know uh if the newbies farm delivers something <laughs> Whoops. we'll let you know if the newbies farm delivers something that the world has never seen before um stay tuned folks Mum's door is still very closed. Gosh, I hope she slept well last night. It's 8.30 in the morning. We'll give her till nine before we knock. Look at these flowers, hey? Wonderful, what a pathway that's become. This staircase is one of my favorite places on the farm currently. So inspiring and beautiful um, journey up to the tiny house where we do all of our video editing. If you've seen any improvement in the video editing recently, it's surely because we've made this route to work so appealing and so beautiful. 
Mum's arrived. I was about to come and send a search party. <laughs> I slept like an absolute love. It was it good in there? It was very good. Okay, that's great. All right, well, very happy. We've got electricians in today. Good. We've got Joao in today. I, I heard him. You heard him. Did I he wake him. you up? Yeah. No, <laughs> no Sorry. bless him. No. No. Yeah. No, I mean, I went, went to bed at what, nine o'clock last night? Nine o'clock, yeah. Went straight to sleep. Yeah. And I've only just woken up. Is it? A whole night? A whole night. Okay, wow, that's great, man. Well done. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's go and get some breakfast. Check that out, folks. I'm pretty chuffed about that, hey? Mum's alive. Number one, that's a pretty good start. Number two, she slept all the way through the night. I love it. Gosh, this place is totally frenetic this morning. So busy. The energy levels are massive. I can't wait until the... I mean, obviously, you don't want to rush your minutes and seconds on this planet, but I can't wait until the end of the day just to see what's been going on. Brilliant. done well done how are you doing up there yeah it's so busy and like so exciting everybody's smashing it out and working really hard nice yeah i'm so excited yeah right on so plan for the day we're gonna take mum for a coffee i think won't we let's do it cool all right well i'm gonna go and get ready for the day and then i'll have a look i'm gonna have a look before we go see yeah what's going on yeah. i can see from the window the plaster going on in the bedroom okay yeah. right are you good to go Good to go. Good. Come on then. I want to go and have a look. Wowee. That's a big change, isn't it? Quick, isn't it? Hey, eh? the boys are masters. I think we'll come back and everything will be done. Well, not quite, I don't think, but. Amazing. Just got back from coffee. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, we had some lovely. Well, discovered a new place in the village. We did. Yeah, Great. and it's the Festas de Junio, which is like the big town festival this weekend. And so there was a parade that came past. And all right, so the fellas have gone on lunch, and Mum and I have just popped it, uh, popped up here to have a look and see what's what they've been doing, what's been going on. It turns out they've plastered white over the black. I don't understand it, but. That's really, really good news. <laughs> Great. And that's the bathroom. You're not quite ready for you, Mum. No. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Obi doesn't love the car just yet, so he has to be a bit coerced. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. Come on. So whilst the whilst Carlos and his it's team cool. are um, busy plastering. Gonna go for a swim. So we've got the whole family here today. Cousin Nardis and Tinks, who's behind there somewhere. Hi. Hi. <laughs> ever glowing. Um, ever glowing. And we brought you guys down here before. Oh, when we were with the Travel Beans, um, Alex and Emma, we brought them down to our little local river beach. It takes us about six minutes to get here from the farm. It's absolutely magical, this little walk down the forest. And then we've got the most amazing river beach, crystal clear river. And at the moment it is the perfect temperature um, as a bit of an antidote to the slightly hotter days we're having at the moment. 
um, and currently there are billions of tadpoles just in the shallows so the boys are having an absolute ball catching tadpoles and Obi is getting used to being a swimming dog so we've been down the last couple of days and we've had so much fun and it really feels like summer has arrived. Crusoe is already off to the beach he knows exactly where to go for the tadpoles and this is our little corner of magicness Oh man, aren't we lucky? Aren't we lucky? So before we go and jump in and swim, John mentioned a couple of weeks ago that he had gone to the doctor for some blood tests and he had actually been feeling really, really run down. He just struggled to get any energy. He felt constantly exhausted. And we were a little bit worried that there might be something else going on other than just tired. Anyway, he got his results yesterday and I'm pleased to report that you are a picture of health. Look at me. Picture of health. Yeah, great. So everything that the doctors are worried about, vitamin B, I, and all that stuff, was absolutely fine. Anyway, um, and the doctor just said to him, you are tired. You're working too hard. And I think all of you can agree that you are amazing, though. You work so hard, and you never, oh, ever take a break. <laughs> anyway, he never, ever takes a break, and he works so hard for us. He films all of it. He does all the work himself. So on a day like Most today, work, yeah. when Carlos, Carlos of and course. the team are here, <laughs> and we're able to just go and have a bit of time out, so that I actually feel a bit emotional talking about it, but um, so that we can have a bit of time out as a family means a lot to us. So thanks, Carlos. Yeah, thanks, boys. Thanks, guys. Yeah. And thank you guys for making that possible for us as well, because John really needs a break, needs some time off, and a bit of. I'm going for a swim. Come on. And um, yeah, it's a good day today. So thanks, everyone. Are there any tadpoles, Crusoe? Yeah, it's frog. Ooh. Hippie in the corner. Let's see. Let's see you go for a swim then. Yeah, I'd like to warm up then. <laughs> There we go, my dog! Yeah! There we go! <laughs> oh man, the small winds of a world. You know, <laughs> me too. Okay, before I get in the water, just to say, what a perfect moment what a perfect perfect life you know two wonderful kids uh, a beautiful wife a project that gives us purpose and excitement and fills our day with building and imagination a dog that likes to go swim uh, and the family to share it all with and rivers and sunshine and well does it get much better than that i don't know <laughs> Off you go, boy. Summer.